This past winter, we had a man who joined Alpha and he came on the invitation of a couple of friends. As he came, he was sharing that his wife had passed this year, but that he was so excited to have a place where he could gather, to learn about the Lord and, and to eat food together. And so Alpha's been great this year. We've seen a, a doubling of the people that have come and it's just been a great opportunity to actually get the good news about Jesus Christ into people's lives and we look forward to doing more of these. It's been remarkable to participate in what God's doing in marriages. This last year in Reengage, we've had 60 couples devote time to their marriage and what makes me so excited about it is that they enjoy life, they're thriving. It is something that they long to come home together because of the time they invested. As I think about this past year, I think about how great it was that we still had a place for our students to come. I got to hear from students that, that coming to Impact, coming to our middle school ministry was the one thing that they looked forward to all week. Even though the rest of their week looked weird and unusual and felt strange, they knew that they would come and they would be known and cared for and loved. They would get to play and discuss and learn. The men's ministry is about building stronger men for Jesus Christ. This last year has been amazing as we've had four marked men weekends and men's lives radically changed for Jesus Christ. Men's testimony is about, this is the most powerful experience of my life since I came to know Jesus, or my faith was strengthened. So we have opened the church gym for people from the community to come and play badminton. This we have been doing for two, three years. But during this recent time of COVID, when the badminton was closed, we could open it with inspiration and perspiration. In terms of insp inspiration, we told them a story for five minutes. It was a story would, would motivate them, encourage them to think from a spiritual angle. As Christians, we are called to be a light in our city. We are surrounded by diversity in culture, ethnic, and socioeconomic backgrounds. We need to be bridge builders across those boundaries. We want to equip bridge builders. This past year, we learned about poverty when we invited in bridges out of poverty and we had our local missions team come in with us. These sessions gave us an opportunity to look through the lens of poverty and give us some important insights. Past year, we've been able to use communication in amazing ways to reach more people than ever before for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've used our website and put resources and studies on there to engage our church and people outside who are seeking the truth. We've been using social media to spread the good news and tell stories of what's happening here at Plymouth Covenant. And we've been using Google, which is a great way because people are looking for a community and a home to worship. Over this past year, it was amazing to watch God work in an unprecedented time. We had to rebuild children's ministry from the ground up. We were closed and we had to reopen and God had to work and he did. We had people step up to serve in children's ministry that have never served before. Not only did they step up to serve, but they also stepped up and said, we'll do it every week. It's been amazing to have the most committed, dedicated and loving volunteers we've ever had. We've been getting together every week before children's ministry for a half hour, praying together, doing devotions together, talking about God's stories together and praying for each other. And it has been such an honor and privilege to work alongside the most amazing group of volunteers we've ever had in children's ministry. We had a great year in women's ministry last year. With a few challenges, we still met in Bible study and mops and our five disciplines class. Some great wins from this last year. We're just seeing people grow who just said, look, I'm dedicated to wanting to be together. We have this great core group of people that have said, I want to be with you and I want to be together. And they started to meet on Saturday nights. Um, they started to meet on Friday nights. This last year with Global Missions has been an amazing year through this incredible challenging year. We had the opportunity to advance the gospel, transform communities, and fight poverty through our mission partners. They were able to provide so many resources for people that were in need. One of my goals as high school youth pastor is to get my students 
outside the walls of their homes and their communities. One of the ways that we do that in the high school ministry is through a fall retreat at Covenant Pines Bible Camp. It's through a spring conference called District Blitz in Duluth. And of course, our summer missions experience. And with high impact opportunities like these, it's those events where students look back and say, it was at that camp, it was on that retreat where God got a hold of me and my life changed forever. And we're so thankful to have a church with opportunities like that coming down the road for these students to participate in, to look back and say, that was a milestone.